Chocolate and wine is a perfect pairing for some, and you can get both at an annual festival this weekend. Eyewitness News reporter Anya Whitehead is live in Susquehanna County this morning with a preview. Anya? That's right, Chris and Kelly. We're talking a lot of sweet treats this morning between chocolate, wine, and Alex's music as well. We have a live entertainment here this morning. And we're here with Tom. Tom, you're president of the board that's handling the Chocolate and Wine Festival, and there's a lot that goes into it. Oh, there's a ton. You know, we've been doing this for about 12 years. This will be our 12th year. And, uh, you know, we have it down to a science at this point. It's a, it's a really great, great event. And so there's a lot more than just chocolate and wine. There's many other different events happening throughout the day. Absolutely. Uh, actually, this weekend we're pairing up with Third Friday in Montrose, so there will be events Friday night happening throughout the town. Um, and then Saturday morning we start with the, um, the uh, Run for Life that, that uh, benefits a, a local cancer organization. And then at 2.30 we kick off the event on, on Chestnut Street. And so this is going to help out many local nonprofits in the area, and there's a number of them involved. Absolutely. We are helping out, um, I believe we have four this year, uh, the Susquehanna County Library, who's been a longtime uh, benefactor of ours. Um, we're starting, we're helping out the United Fire Company this year in their, their quest to build a new, uh, new fire building, which will be great. Uh, we're also helping out Pink Arrow Arts and Susquehanna County Interface. So a lot of good is going to come from this a event. A lot of good. More than just sweet treats and more than just chocolatiers. Absolutely. We've got all kinds of, of different chocolate. We've got brownies, we have fudge, we've got all kinds of different things that you're going to find out throughout the day. And we're also here with Pat. Pat, you've been volunteering for a number of years. Why is it so important to help out these local nonprofits? It's important to support local, and it's important to, su to support our local nonprofits. Well, Chris and Kelly, as you can tell, this is going to be a sweet day for anybody involved with chocolate, wine, live music throughout the day. Alex will be on the main stage at 2.30. Everybody can come out for a good time and help those local nonprofits. Here in Montrose, Anya Whitehead. Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Anya. It's an excellent guitar, and it, it seems like, of course, it's about wine and chocolate. But even if you you don't drink or don't drink wine, I mean, it still seems like there's enough things during the day we could go and and support your local community. It's always good when we're talking about uh, supporting local businesses and mm -hmm. different charities. So uh, sounds like a really great event. We'll be